Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here with some more Duels of the Planeswalkers 2013 campaign playthrough. Let us go ahead and continue. In the last video, we have just uh, finished the Chandelar tier right here, killing off Garrick, and now we will begin Innistrad. And that's going to actually start off here with two encounters and then two actual fights with Audric and then Lil Lili Lil Liliana? Liliana, there you go. That's not even a hard name to say. All right, so two encounters to start off. Uh, I'm a little bit, I don't know. We'll have to see. I tell you, it's so frustrating because the encounters that I've, the first two encounters, I was like, wow, this is really terrible. They're only playing with one card in their deck. So I just thought it was kind of stupid. We'll, we'll see how this one goes. This time... Why don't we go ahead and play... Why don't we go ahead and play with the green deck? How does that sound? Sounds good to me. All right, so this encounter, a master necromancer turns your own creatures against you, mocking your summoning skills. Actually, with that said, maybe <laughs> uh, maybe I'll just go with this deck. It, <laughs> if, the little, if the little flavor text is any indication, if he's got a... If he's got any mind control abilities or anything like that, I'd rather have burn so I can take care of those creatures. So, well, we'll just go with that. All right, uh, the encounter is going to play first. The hand is decent right here. Taking a quick look, Pyre Recharger, two lands for a 1-1 one, one haste, uh, give it plus one plus so. Also have Torch Fiend, sacrifice the destroy target artifact. I, that might be just completely worthless. Nice Firewing Phoenix, 4-1 flying, which I can return from my graveyard to my hand by paying that casting cost. And then we've got uh, five mana for a 5-4. Nothing too special about him. He's just a big, beefy creature. And then lastly, Chandra's Outrage. Four damage to our creature, two damage to that creature's controller. Go ahead and keep this hand. But again, the encounter is going to go first. This, what is it? What, what, what they call him? A Master Necromancer? We'll see about that. We will see about that. Oh, already, Horrifying Revelation. Star player discards a card. Then puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. That is obnoxious. I'm going to have no hand very quickly. Wow. All right. Well, I have to pick something. Let's go with this. Oh, man. This this entire deck, his entire deck is going to be filled with that. Maybe one other thing. It's going to be pretty frustrating. Let's see if I can take him out, though. Luckily, he's going to empty his hand pretty fast if that's literally like all he's sitting on. I don't know, though. Maybe this encounter is different. Just the last two encounters. Yep, here we go. Going to discard another card. And uh, let's see what we're going to go with this time. Yeah, I know. I don't have to discard. Just give me one second here. Stupid game. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I'm not too concerned about discarding him because I can just throw him back in my hand. I want to keep these small creatures. I need to get those in play as fast as possible. So let's go ahead and actually discard the Firewing Phoenix. Now again, I can pull him from my graveyard back into play. Um, so, and I need to start getting some stuff in play and start doing some damage. So we're gonna start off with the Pyre Charger. Again, this is a 2-1, it's got haste so I can hit with it right now and I can pump it up for one red mana, give it plus one plus zero till end of turn. Can't do it this turn, but for future, uh, that'll be pretty good. Because I, I, this, is, this, this is annoying. The fact that he's just gonna keep playing these is incredibly annoying. These encounters are actually kind of cool. I don't remember these in Duels 2012. Was, maybe I maybe I just, I don't know, maybe it slipped my mind or maybe they were different, but I don't remember having these mono decks with just just infinite of one card. I don't know, maybe it happened though, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so, encounter, what's next, huh? Oh, yeah, you're gonna play another freaking horrifying revelation, are you? Sounds great, and not. All right, so what do I want get to get rid of this time? I'm gonna hold on to this because I can play him next turn. And I can start swinging with that too. The whelp is kind of nice. Do I want Chandra's out? Uh, so right now it's a decision between the whelp and Chandra's outrage. Having a 2 2 flying would be nice. But at the same time, if he does really have the ability to take over my creatures, I, I would kind of want that damage. I don't know, that's a tough call. Why don't we get rid of the whelp for now? He's got the pump-up ability, but I already have a creature in play that has that anyways, so I'd rather just spend my mana continuously pumping him than have to, you know what I mean? And, um, should I ping him with this too, or what? Do I even want to play this? Maybe I'll just get, maybe I'll just end up getting rid of this. God, this is so annoying dealing with this deck, I tell ya. No, you know what? Creatures in play are pretty, pretty crucial here, so let's throw this guy in play. 
probably gonna have to end up dumping Chandra's Outrage next turn. We're gonna attack here. Um, make sure we pump him up too. My hand's gonna be empty very fast. Alright, what's next, Master Necromancer? Oh, really? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Another horrifying revelation. Oh, it makes me pull my hair out. Right, well, I don't know if I'm going to draw into a mana, so holding on to this is kind of pointless. At the very least, I'm guaranteed to be able to cast that. So why don't we just dump Chandra's Outrage? Four damage to target creature. That's pointless. I'm just going to dump that. Go ahead and swing now, and... Um, also, gonna up him for one, and I'm gonna actually spend that because I do want to uh, ping him with that as well. So we're just gonna end up dumping Flame Slash next turn when he cast another friggin' super annoyance card on me. I don't know, it's looking okay though. I mean, I haven't seen him do anything yet besides that one. As far as I've, again, as far as I've seen in these encounters, it's just literally the infinite of, uh, well, not infinite, but. He's got unlimited of a single card type. Oh, nope, here's something else. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That creature is a black zombie in addition to all of the colors. <sighs> God, this is awful. Ooh, ooh, wait though. I'm gonna build, he didn't, okay, okay. We're okay, we're all right. He doesn't have any mana. He can't cast that stupid thing anymore. He brought the 5-4 back. Look what I've got in my hand. That could have not have worked more perfectly for me. That is just glorious. Four damage. Suck it, Trebek. I say. That <laughs> I that was uh, that was pure luck that that ended up working out. But I'll take it, man. Magic is not only a game of luck. It's also it's not only a game of skill, but it is also a game of luck. Look, it definitely plays a plays a role in this game. Oh man, ah, I'm so happy. That could have been awful. That could have been so much worse. He's gonna play another one of those. He's got one card in hand. What is it? It's that thing. What are you doing? What a freaking what an idiot. He knows I've got no cards in my hand. I guess it's still gonna mill me one though. So again, keep in mind that this isn't only a discard, it also pulls a card from the top of my graveyard and puts it into my library as well. Um, so that mills my deck down a little bit. So yeah, it basically made it so that I didn't just draw into a mountain, which I would have otherwise. And I drew into this, which I can't really do anything with right now because he's got no creatures. But it doesn't matter because we're going to swing here and we're going to win the game right now. So, um, again, I got really, really lucky with that 5-4 that he had. That could have been awful. Especially since from that point forward, I wouldn't be able to ping him until he attacked and his creature was tapped and all that other stuff. So, whew, breathing a sigh of relief here as we made it through that encounter. Just barely. That could have been much, much worse than it ended up being there. With that, I, uh, let's see, got a new card, defeated, defeated him, got a new card, Searing Blaze that I can use for the deck, and that is wonderful, that is glorious, that is just beautiful, that is that encounter, come back in the next video, we'll take a look at the over, you know what, actually, no, forget it, because of the, because of the way these overrun encounters are, because of the way these encounters are done, um, yeah, I'm just going to do this as one video here. So we're just going to go straight into the other encounter. In a deep forest, the faintest rumble became a deafening roar. Suddenly, you're fighting for your life. Maybe go with the blue deck this game. For no particular reason. Let's go with the blue deck this game. Start duel! Just because these encounters are so silly, I don't even consider them magic games. I'm just like, my opponent is... He's got... Millions of one card. I got a I got I got a decent hand here and I play first So we're gonna go ahead and take this here drop the island into play. We're gonna throw this I'll take a look at my hand in just a second. So um, <clears throat> I'll show you my hand. I, I know what I've got but Oh four obviously just got no attack there only has defense the thing is though this deck has creature pop-ups That's gonna get make him offensive. Also. This is just a beautiful early game blocking creature. I mean absolutely glorious So let me show you my hand really quickly 
We've got a fog bank here. Defender flying. Prevent all combat damage will be dealt to fog bank. Great, great blocker. I uh, can't, well, not can't die, but uh, won't die to combat damage there. Then I've got the Archaeomancer, which is awesome. It's a 1-2 creature, but the best part of it is that when it comes into play, I get to grab an instant or sorcery card from my graveyard back in my hand. And as you could assume, this deck has a lot of instants and sorceries, so that makes that good. Return target online permanent to owner's hand. This has got multiple uses. It's an instant cast, so I can cast it at any point. Sorceries I can only cast during my turn. But with this, I can bounce creatures back to his hand or bounce permanents back to his hand. If I don't want them into play, I can save one of my permanents by bouncing it back to my hand. And then I've got a counter spell which is what you would assume it is uh, he tries to play something I can say no no you're not gonna play that cancel that goes to your graveyard there you go all right so starting things off with a no foreign play get a nice cell defense I'll be interested to see what this encounter consists of last encounter they mixed it up there were two cards not just a single one oh it's gonna be a million one one creatures I don't know how this deck will do against that. He's going to be throwing one ones in my face. Just drew into this 8-7 flying. It's going to be a long time before I can cast that, though. Seven casting costs. That's quite hefty. I've got that. I can go ahead and put the fog bank down, which I will just do. So I've got some defense now in the early game against this stuff, but the red deck would have been perfect against this encounter. Can't really, no point in attacking with the 04. Again, he's got no damage that he can deal right now, so. I'm a little nervous. Got my fingers crossed here about this encounter. I don't know. We're going to see a billion of these 1-1s uh, one come into play. Oh, 1-1s one and 2-2s. Two All right, so at least two cards here. Yeah, I'm going to get overrun pretty quickly, I think. I The red deck would have been so good. I just play the red deck permanently until I get something better. Pause really quickly here. I can bounce. Um, unfortunately, I'm still not in the position to do any damage whatsoever. Which is kind of annoying. And I'm, I'm going to save my bounce. I'll hold on to my counter spell. I'll probably use this counter spell next turn. Because as of now, I can still defend against everything he can do. So I'm going to probably counter the next thing that tries to come into play. I'm assuming he's going to try to play another one of these. Claw Bear. I'm just assuming he's just stacked with those right now. He's got five cards in hand, so. What's your go, encounter? What's your deal? Whoa, nope. 3-3. Three, three. Counter that. So, cancel. It's going to counter that spell. Spell fizzles. Goes into the graveyard. Beautiful. I definitely didn't want that in play. 3-3 three, three starts, you know, that, that would allow him to start swinging through my frontal defenses here. Alright, now that I've got four mana, and what did I just draw into here? I just drew into the mana, I think. Okay. Alright, so I can play the Archeoman um the Mancer, which would let me bring back the counter spell. That's the only card I have in my graveyard right now. Um, so why don't we do that? I don't think having a, not only will I have a 1-2 in play, but I'll also get my counter spell back. Still, though, I'm not in the position to do any damage, and this is why I'm getting really concerned. Uh, I, I still, I still really can't do anything. I'm just gonna—he's gonna continue to build up an army, and I just need to sit here. It's still gonna be quite a while until I can afford this. Once that gets in play, I'm gonna be sin pretty. But wow, okay, so this is this is really different than all the prior encounters. He's got a bunch of different creatures, but so far it's just been mono creatures. Now that's a four-three. That's that's pretty scary. Uh, what'll happen next turn probably is I'm gonna bounce it back with disperse. So he won't be able to attack me. And, um, ooh, yeah, let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to throw throw this into play. This is, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. This is good. Things are starting to look up here. This is a really, really good card for me to have. Uh, I've got four mana, so I can still do both of these. All right, so. I will throw this down. God, I'm going to miss next upkeep, though, if I don't. Hmm. I don't really want to take damage. I really do want to bounce him back. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna skip an upkeep. I'm still gonna I'm gonna bounce this creature next turn. We'll hold on for now though. Alright, so this is really awesome. I equip a creature, it gets hex proof, he can't target it. That's not the good thing about this though. The good thing about this is I, once I equip it, that a creature gets a plus one plus one counter during every one of my upkeeps. 
Uh, now remember the phases in magic, the steps that you go through for each turn. Uh, it is untap, upkeep, draw, main phase, attack attack phase, second main phase. Um, and so during your during your upkeep phase, this a lot of times there'll be effects that happen on certain cards. And in this particular card, during during your upkeep, after you untap all your lands and creatures, uh, you get you can put a one one counter on this en enchanted this this equipped creature. So that's going to start beefing up my creatures, and I'll probably actually throw it on the O4, uh, skipping attack for now. Just going to continue, and uh, during his turn is when I'm going to bounce <clears throat> bounce this creature back. And actually, I want to do that now. Okay, he's going to overrun. Need to bounce immediately. Going to. Bring this 4-3 back to his hand after he overruns. Overrun's pretty scary. Uh, all his creatures are getting plus 3, plus 3 and trample. Now, I just bounced his bigger creature, but these still are going to get pretty beefed up here. You can see he's now got a 4-4 and a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, well, um, they also get trample. All right. Um... I'm gonna block the block the five five here with my O2 that it's not gonna take any combat damage, so he's still gonna live. I don't really want to sack this though, so I think I'm just gonna take the damage um, because I do want to hold on to this O4 because I'm gonna throw this on him. So three is still gonna go through because he has trample from overrun. So he did a pre he did a decent amount of damage to me there. Okay, now, I don't know if this is going to hit before my upkeep, but I'm going to try. I don't think it does. What are you doing? Oh, that was stupid. I just messed up. I hexproofed instead of equipping. So that was completely pointless. And, uh, oh well. Oh well, it is what it is. He's only got three cards in hand. I just gotta keep my fingers crossed. Oh, that's really messed up. I really, really screwed up there. That could lose me the game. That may very well lose me the game. Alright, we'll find out. I just gotta take it. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna go back on anything. I, I will swing with my 1-2, though. Something, at least. Oh, that's really, really messed up. I just blew two mana for nothing by doing that. That's really a bummer. All right, fingers crossed that uh, I'm not gonna completely lose the game as a result of that screw up. Although I probably should. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty awful, guys. All right, so now he's gonna play his big beefy creature again. I would have been able to counterspell it had I not screwed up, but I can't. So 4-3 comes into play. I just have to deal with it. Nothing I can do. Upkeep. He's gonna get a plus one, plus one counter, which is good. Uh, I am, I am, per I am, I am perturbed there. All right. So what we're gonna do now here? I've got five mana, still two away from being able to get this guy into play. I'm at 13. He's at 19. Um, I could save for a counter spell, but I, I kind of thinking about throwing these two into play. So why don't we go ahead and do that? I'm gonna get two, two, two flying tokens in play with uh, Talran's invocation. So with the flying, I can start swinging at him and still hold on to my, my chump blocking creatures here. And with this 1-5, I can actually prevent this damage. My only concern though, right now, is if he plays another overrun. That's my concern. I am baffled that this encounter is actually like a full-on mono green deck. He's, he's, has, he's had a variety of creatures, he's had a variety of spells. Um, it, that's it's just confusing to, I'm, I'm not, I guess I am complaining, but I'm just saying that like, I probably would have made this a separate video if I knew this was gonna be a long drawn out actual game. I thought this was gonna be another stupid thing. <laughs> like the past encounters have been. Oh well, let's see what happens. He's got three cards in hand. Let's see what he's got. Please, and not another overrun. That would ki uh, not kill me right now, but that would really mess up everything I'm doing here. He's gonna play another 1-1 Willow Elf, that's fine. It's all right with me. All right, so he's gonna get plus one, plus one again. This, this is getting a lot better for me there. I got another one of these walls, which is good, and I can actually play the wall 
as well as save mana for my uh, my, my counter spell here. So this is okay. Gonna uh, get the fog bank in play. Another blocking creature, a really, really good one as well. And now it's actually time to uh, go on the offensive here, I think. Now he doesn't have trample, so I'm probably even gonna swing with the 2-6. He could kill it though. That's something else, he could kill it if he, if he double blocks. You know? So maybe I'll just hit with the 2-2 uh, the two, two flyings and I'll save that. Let's do that. Let's just hit with the, with the flyers. Okay. Just sit tight with my 2-6. And if he doesn't play anything that I want to counterspell, then I'm actually going to pop the equipment over to one of the flyers for next upkeep. Give him a plus one, plus one counter. Let's see what happens. A one card in hand. What is it? Alright. Now the question is, do I cancel that? Or do I just... That's not going to kill me. What will kill me is if he draws into an overrun. So I'm going to let... I'm going to let that go through. Because that... that a 2-2 two -two isn't going to kill me right now. A 2-2 two -two I'm okay with. Um, what I will do though is but before the end of this turn... You're not going to let me... Um, I guess I can only equip during my turn. Maybe that's how it goes. I don't know. I don't remember. That's probably the rules. So this turn I'll switch it up. He's going to get another counter. We drew into... Yes! Two more 2-2 two -two tokens. I'm going to risk it here and just hope he doesn't draw into an overrun this turn. That's what I'm doing. And uh, we're going to pull this, switch the equipment now. Put it on one of my flyers. Let's put on one with summoning sickness. Okay. My fingers are crossed that he does not draw into an overrun. If he draws into an overrun, this turns from a really great situation to a kind of a mistake. Swing with these. And uh, the 3 7 is still debatable because if he blocks with multiple creatures, he'll kill this off. And uh, that won't really kill off much. So I think I still am just going to hold on to him. Next turn is when, when, the, when the pain's really going to start coming down. Again, fingers crossed that he doesn't draw into another overrun and just roll me over with trample. Alright, guys, here we go. It's a big moment. One card in hand. What is it? What is it, encounter? There it is. Just a 3-3. Three, three. Bam! That's good. That's fine by me. You play your stupid 3-3. Three, three. Should be the game, I think. It's gonna be close if it isn't right here. Flying, 3 1 flying. I might just hold on to the, uh, I might just hold on to the counter spell though. So I can swing for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Can't attack with the walls, plus they don't even have any damage. 3 7, don't really want to attack with that either. Maybe just get this guy in a play for some blocking. Sure. All right. There we go. It's kind of a, kind of a little bit of a risk, but because he's not going to die this turn. Ugh! I gotta gotta do one more turn of survival mode here. Swing with the two twos. It's going to take a bunch of damage. Not not a victory yet, though. Oh wait, what am I talking about? All right, here we go, guys. This is it. This is the turn. The final countdown. Victory. We win. Plays a 4-3. All right, this encounter has been defeated. Congratulations on your victory, sir. Uh, here we go, guys. He's got no cards in hand, no funny business gonna be happening here. No, 
Complete overkill. Do it for the lulls. And we win! Force defeats the overrun encounter. Is that what it was called? I don't even know. Defeat the encounter stampede. Okay, I got the stampede encounter and unlocked a card. Thanks for watching, guys. That was awesome. Finish those two encounters here in this one video. Next coming up video, we'll be moving on to Odorlik. Whatever the heck that means. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. And don't forget to keep watching and keep owning.